All right, All-Stars named over the weekend. The Mariners are going to have two representatives. Brandon League, who's leading the American League in saves. That kind of makes sense. Felix Hernandez. Certainly nobody's going to quibble with Felix. He was the Cy Young Award winner last year. Although, you start comparing some of the numbers, and you can make a case anyway that Michael Pineda actually has better numbers and could be more deserving of an All-Star nod than Felix Hernandez. Now, personally, I don't think so. I'll take Felix over Pineda. I think it takes time to earn your All-Star selection, but... I also look at things a little bit differently. I personally believe that you need to go back a full calendar year when you're looking at all-star credentials, right? We tend to value what guys do in the second half, maybe even more than what they do in the first half, but at least as much we value what players do in the postseason, right? Even more so than what they do in the regular season. I'd rather look at a larger sample size that includes the more important half of the season when I'm looking at an all-star. Quite frankly, Felix Hernandez, when you go back to the second half of last year, needs to be honored for that, needs to be recognized for that, not just with the Cy Young Award, which he's won, but I think also with an all-star nod this year. He's also one of the most exciting young stars in baseball, and it's important for them to promote their young stars. Now, baseball's got a lot of complications when it comes to the all-star game, right? Derek Jeter and some of these aging veterans that get voted in or even placed on the team, but they got to be there. Derek Jeter probably doesn't deserve to start the all-star game based on his stats, but at the same time, Look, he's one of the biggest stars in the game. In order to sell that game, they've got to have him there. I like Jason Stark's idea, which is to have an extra representative who is a legend from each side. I think it would work great. It allows Derek Jeter or somebody like him to be in the All-Star game, but doesn't take a spot away from a Johnny Peralta or an Alexi Ramirez or somebody else who really does deserve it from that position.